Hi everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to Crochet with Lisa. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this moon and stars that is crocheted using fillet crochet. Fillet crochet allows you to produce a design using open blocks and closed blocks. The yarn that I used is Bernat Super Value Yarn. Here it is in a different color. And it is a medium weight of four. I also used a five millimeter crochet hook. The finished size of this motif is approximately 14 and a half by 14 and a half inches, or that's 37 by 37 centimeters. Now this is after I blocked it. Before blocking it, it was about 13 by 13 inches. I also have some other videos of different motifs. I have a jack-o-lantern, a black cat, and a ghost. You can find these other videos on my channel under my Halloween playlist. The reason that I designed these motifs was to use them as the front of a trick-or-treat bag. You can find the video tutorial for the trick-or-treat bag also on my channel under the Halloween playlist. Now these motifs can also be used for other projects such as pillows or even incorporated into an afghan. I will give you a copy of the graph that I used for this project. Now the only way that I can give this to you is if you take a screenshot of it. Once you have your screenshot, you can work from it on your device or you can print it. That will be my recommendation. I find it much easier to work from a paper copy because I can mark off my rows as I go. So I will guide you row by row for the first few rows and then you should have no problem completing the remainder of the rows on your own. Now for this particular design, I'm offering two options. They are the positive and the negative of each other. This one I crocheted using a yellow yarn and had black as the contrast color. So you can see the moon and the stars shining through. This is actually upside down. So you can see the moon, the stars shining through. The second one is the opposite and I crocheted using black yarn with yellow as the background. I will give you a screenshot of both, both of these, and you can decide which is your favorite. So in the tutorial today, I will guide you through a few rows of this one. If you need help starting this one, then you can switch over to my black cat video and that one will start the first row exactly like this one will. And if you watch any of my fillet crochet videos, you will see how I count out the stitches on the graph and then crochet them accordingly. Okay, let's get ready for your screenshots. Now we are ready to begin. If we look at our graph, we can see that we have some closed blocks and we have some open blocks. These open blocks are going to be formed with a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. The closed blocks are going to be formed with double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. Let's look at our very first row. We have all open blocks along this row. So this first line is a double crochet chain one, double crochet, chain one. So in order to start this first row, we are going to need a chain that is 53 chains long. So I'm going to start my chain with yellow. So one, two, three, four, I'll keep going until I have 53 and then we can meet back here. So I have a chain that is 53 long. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five. So 
So what we've just done is, over here, this double crochet we just made is this part of our graph. The chain that's right here, because we went into the fifth chain from the hook, so we have four there. We have one chain one here, two for our double crochet, so that's one, two, three, one more for up here, that's four. And so then we did our double crochet. So we've made this block at the end of our row. So now we're just gonna chain one. We're gonna skip a, a chain and we're gonna double crochet in the next one. Chain one. We're gonna skip a chain, double crochet into our next one. Chain one. Skip one, double crochet into the next one. So we can see that we're forming our open squares down here, these open blocks. So continue doing the same thing all the way across. Chain one, and then you're going to skip one of your chains, double crochet into the next one. I will meet you at the end of the row, and at that time you should have 25 of these open blocks. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row and I've just made my last double crochet at the beginning of this chain. So now we're just going to number our rows. So on this side of my graph, I'm just going to put the number of each row. This side over here, I'm going to put arrows indicating which way I'm working. So this first row, we'll say we work this way. Second row, we're gonna come back this way. So I'm gonna put my arrow going that way. So we have to alternate working left to right and then right to left. So we've completed row one. So row two, we're gonna be working in this direction. So we're gonna look at these open squares first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we already have these open sections from the row before, our open squares. And we're going to work right over them. So we're going to start with a chain three. So this chain three, the first two are our double crochet, and the third one is our chain one. We can turn our work. So we're going to do a double crochet right over this double crochet. Okay, so now we have an open square above another open square. So chain one, double crochet in our next double crochet. Chain one. We're going to do this until we have 10 open blocks. Okay, so I have my 10 open spaces here. I end it with a double crochet. So now we have these closed blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times two is 14, because remember this is one double crochet, another double crochet. One double crochet, another double crochet. So really each closed square that we see is equivalent to two double crochets, and then plus we have to add this one on at the end. So seven times two is 14, plus one is 15. We're gonna need 15 double crochets, and we're counting this one that we have here. So that's one. Our second one is gonna go into that chain one space. Our third one is gonna go on top of the double crochet. Fourth one is gonna go into that chain one space. Okay, so continue until you have 15 double crochets. Okay, so my 15 double crochets are done. And now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight open spaces. 
and we should have that below here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to chain one and then double crochet into the double crochet from that row before. Chain one, double crochet into that double crochet. So we'll continue this to the end of the row, then I'll show you how to finish the last one. Just approaching the end of this row, I've put my second last double crochet in here, chain one, and here we have that first chain that we did. There was one at the bottom, two on the sides, and one at the top. So we're just gonna go over two, so not the one at the top, the second one to that one, and we're going to do a double crochet in there. Okay, so that is the end of our second row. Row three, now we're working in this direction. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven open blocks. So we're going to chain three, turn, I'm going to double crochet into the top of this next double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. Keep doing that until we have seven of these open spaces. Okay, so I have seven of my open spaces there. So now we're ready for the yellow again. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten closed blocks. So ten times two is twenty, plus the last one is twenty-one. So we're going to need twenty-one double crochets. So we have our first one. The second one is going to go into that chain one space. Then we're going to put double crochets over double crochets. So we have 21. All right, so I finished my 21 double crochets. The last, well, the second last one and the fourth last one went into the chain one spaces from the row before. So we are right here. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight open spaces, and there should be those same open spaces in the row before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So chain one, and then just double crochet in the top of the double crochets all the way to the end of this row. So I'm just at the end of the row, done my double crochet in the top of this double crochet, chain one. Now there is a chain three over here. So you're going to do a double crochet in that middle chain. Okay, and that will make your side there. So we are finished the third row. Row four, we are working in this direction. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six open spaces. So chain three, turn. Going to double crochet into the top of that double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the top of your next double crochet until you have six open spaces. Okay, so after our six open spaces, now we have these closed ones and then we have an open one in the middle of these closed ones. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times two is 16, plus one is 17. So we're gonna do 17 double crochets. So remember, if you're over an open space, you're just going to double crochet in that chain one space. So after the 17 double crochets, then we have one open block. So we're going to do a chain one, skip a double crochet, and then double crochet in that next one. 
So there is that open block. So now we have one, two, three, four more closed blocks. So four times two is eight, plus that last stitch is nine. So we already have one. Okay, so now we have our nine double crochets. We're going to finish this row with one, two, three, four, five, six of our open spaces. So we chain one, double crochet in the top of that double crochet. Chain one, we'll keep going till we finish the rest of this row. We should have our six open spaces. All right, so that is the end of row four. Row five, we're gonna work this way. So we have one, two, three, four, five open spaces. So we'll start with chain three, turn. Double crochet in the top of that double crochet, chain one. We'll keep going till we have our five open spaces. Okay, so after those five open spaces, then we have two closed blocks, so that's Two times two is four, plus one is five. So five double crochets in a row. So we have one. Our second one is gonna go into that chain one space. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five open spaces. So we're going to chain one, skip one double crochet, double crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip one double crochet, double crochet in the next one. Then chain one, skip one double crochet, double crochet in the next one. Chain one, now we're, open, we're over that open square from below. So we're just gonna double crochet in our next double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet in our next one. Okay, so that will give us our five open spaces. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven closed blocks. So that's seven times two is 14, plus the last one is 15. So 15 double crochets. We have our first one, so two, three, we'll keep going till we have 15. All right, so I finished the 15th double crochet. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six open spaces. So chain one, double crochet on top of the double crochet from the row before. Chain one, double crochet. Keep doing that to the end of the row. So at the end of the row, remember you're putting that double crochet in that middle chain of your chain three. Okay, so row five is done. I'm gonna get you to continue following along the pattern the same way that I have shown you how to do the first five rows. So just keep track of your row numbers over here and on this side you can keep track of which direction you're working. There are 25 rows so when you are finished all 25 we'll meet back. I will show you how to single crochet a row around the three sides, this side, the bottom and this side. That will help you attach the front and the back of the trick-or-treat bag together. Okay so I've just finished up my 25th row and now I'm ready to put the single crochet row along the side, the bottom, and the other side. So I'm going to turn my work sideways. So here's the top, here's the side. I'm just going to chain one and do a single crochet right back into that space where I just came out of. So along this side, I'm going to do a single crochet in my chain one space, single crochet in this stitch. 
single crochet in the chain one space, single crochet in this stitch, single crochet in the chain space, and then single crochet in this stitch. So that'll give us a nice single crochet border all along this side. When you get to the corner, do three single crochets in this short corner space. You'll do the same thing along the bottom as we did on that side. When you get to this corner, three single crochets in that corner space and continue the same up along your third side until you get to the very top and then you can fasten off unless you're going to be using this same color to single crochet the front and the back of your bag together. Then you would not want to fasten off your yarn. So the fillet crochet of the moon and stars is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. You found it easy to follow. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and you can follow along with some other great projects. So have a great day and happy crocheting.